Welcome back, folks. We are going to be making annihilation constraint fears today. And they take a long time to make. They take 20 seconds. So that is a heck of a long time. And we are doing it here on uh, Mars 2, where we have a lot of our other production. Uh, because we have production of the things that we need here. We have production of particle containers and we have production of processors here as well. So that's what we're gonna do. And we need an output from, for each of them. And I think we'll put the output back in here. It'll, uh, Let's see, like that. No. And up here. Let's just get a lot of belt going. So we're ne gonna need a lot. We're basically going to go. Well, almost around the planet until we think into something. And we shouldn't do that for quite a while. There. Okay. Auto save and let's keep going a bit. Let's go to here for now. Okay. Get those built in there. these belts in here. Here come the rest of the drones. Okay. And then we will do output, input, 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 and output. That should work. Uh, let's start with the inside one. Can we fit a power pole in here? We can. Nice. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So that's two a second. And if we go on both sides, then it's four a second. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, let's go up to 60. Fifty-nine, sixty. Okay. And then you can come around and hook into that belt. That was actually a mistake. That 
needs to go to there. Okay. So 60, that's three a second. Another row will be six a second. I think that's good for now. It's not good in the long run, but it's good for now. Get a lot of these going. I hope. That'll be a hundred and twenty machines making these. And we're probably gonna have to triple that at least at some point. there. There we go. Okay. Then we just need some power. We might as well start at this end, I guess. Uh, can we do this? No. We need to do this. So every two... Hopefully, everything will be powered. And everything will be working as expected. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Alrighty. there and there we go we are fully set up so let's say local demand remote storage local demand remote storage oh and set this to be annihilation spheres here come the first items and they should have absolutely no problem getting to the end. Because these take so long to make. And let's see if we get our first Annihilation Constraint Spears here. Should... Yeah, there's the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. Beautiful! Let's just make sure that it's getting all the way down here. It should not be a problem for it to get all the way down. Is everything going? No, not yet. Almost everything is going though. And here it comes, and there we go. Oh, there's something wrong there. Uh, let's these up. There we go. And uh, let's just sort that and stick you in there. Okay. So annihilation constraint spheres are a going. And there's a room room for a lot more on the output line. But we already have almost 300 of them. So that's kind of nice. What's next? Next is... I think, actually, antimatter. Yeah, antimatter. So let's find a spot for making that. 
And that's made in particle colliders, which we don't have any of. Uh, are we ordering them? We might be. Uh, it's not that one. Uh, it's this way. I don't think we are. Nah. Uh, let's see. Particle collider. Where are you? There you are. 100. Uh, local storage remote demand. There we go. 100 particle colliders on the way. We didn't have them anywhere, did we? Yeah, we did actually. All right, never mind. Let's grab 100 of those. And where are we going to set them up? Uh, so let's look at the uh, recipe. Uh, so, basically it's one every second. And it turns into two antimatter and two hydrogen, which is perfect because we need 10 antimatter and 10 hydrogen to make antimatter fuel rods. And how long does it take? Yeah, so one a second. Uh, well, that's perfect. Uh, let's... There's a nice iron vein there that I haven't tapped into. Where can we find a spot for this? What are you doing? Nothing. Might do it here. Oh, that will be in the way. Hmm. Have some veins in the way there. I don't really want to do it over here because I want to be able to expand that. You know what? Those 12 stone veins we can just get rid of. And we can build it up here. Let's do it. I really don't care about stone veins, so let's do that. Out. Okay. Copy you and set up right here, I think. You need critical photons. You definitely need these we need some of these and then I think we'll put antimatter and hydrogen in here as well this will be local storage we're not gonna ask for them just yet Okay. Uh, logistics. Let's come out here and request those. Actually, you know what? Let's not come out there. Let's come out right in the middle and request those. And these puppies are big. As far as I recall, they take up quite a bit of space. And 
production. Yeah, they do. Could put them in like this. What will that be like here? We won't be able to have a line down here if we do that. We will if we do it like this. So we'll do it like this. And we'll do... Let's just stick one in there. Three. And... One. Two. Three. I'm pretty sure we can fit power in here. Somehow. Nope. We cannot... So it'll be like that. And now we can fit power in here, right? No. We cannot. Dang it. Okay. Let's first of all set a recipe. We want uh, mass energy storage. All right, so it needs to be like that. We can't fit a power pole in here now. I'm gonna cry. Can. And is it enough if we stick one in like this? And then let's get outputs. Orders. There. 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 Ooh, we need two outputs, don't we? Yeah, we do, we do. So, you go there. And... Another output. We might actually not be able to fit another one in here. I think we will. And another output. There. And let's get this going. And then we just need 15. So one. Two. And you don't actually... Yeah, you do, because... Three, four, well, that's five, six, let's stick some power poles in here.
seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So that's ten so far. We need to get up to fifteen. So we need a few more belts. Let's go to here. Oh, and we actually need... Damn it. That was a mistake. Okay, that's... Start over from right here. Or oh, dang it! I didn't put a sorter on here. There. Actually, I want it here. I think. Like so. Okay. Now it's right. So. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, let's stick the power poles in. Might as well start here. Like so. And we will get this going as well. This is going to cost us so much power because these things take like 12 and a half gigawatts, 12 gigawatts each. No, not gigawatts, megawatts. Gigawatts would be insane. Why don't you have an input? There. Okay, these don't need to be so long. Actually, we need to be one longer, I think. Like that. And we need another Tesla power thing here. And why is the very last one not powered? That is so weird. Oh, screw it. We'll stick one there. Okay, that's that set up. So let's remote demand these. And we have 10,000 stored up. So it will all come. Let's turn off these distribution beams. Let's see our very first antimatter get created.
and then the next thing is the antimatter fuel rods which we have everything that we need for that is awesome and I've been even left space to create more of the uh, titanium alloy So let's see if we have some antimatter. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Or some uh, photons. And we have our very first antimatter coming out. Wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. And we're producing 30 of them a second. Which we can means we can produce three a second of the antimatter fuel rods. Nice. And we can expand this so we can have another row here and another row here, and actually two more rows here. So that is pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. I love it. Now I want to put a bit of strain on our materials. Uh, wow, we are... Uh, uh, no, no, no. Solar sails are being fired. But not as many as we used to. It seems that we're lacking in something. It's coming in bursts. See? Before it was just a steady stream. So let's quickly take a look at our solar sail production. Solar sail production here it has everything it needs. We have 10,000 solar sails there. And we have more solar sail production somewhere. I am sure. I'm actually very, very sure that we have more solar sail production somewhere. But it seems like it's fine. It might not be getting there fast enough. Who knows? Ah, it might also be because... Um, Some of them are actually getting full. I mean, this corner here is full. This corner here is full. So I want... I think I want to do... Something like this. So that we start building these again. Building the points. Or the frame. I guess it's the frame there. And there we go. And now we can see, whoops, that we have a ton of rockets coming. Might also, because we're running low on power over here, that it's coming in bursts like that. And another wave of rockets there.
We're up to 11.2 gigawatts, which is not half bad. Which is not half bad. Okay. This looks so cool, doesn't it? Man, I love it. it looks so cool. Right. So we have. That's. These guys, wow, we're almost up to seven and a half thousand of the annihilation constraint spheres. And here we are up to six thousand and two thousand. And that's because we're grabbing some of the um, hydrogen. I think I actually think we'll do remote storage. Maybe, uh, let's see, do we have any? Yes, we do. Let's just stick some. Five, five higher is fine. That's an extra 50,000 storage. Times two, so that's 100,000. I like it. So the next production that we'll be setting up is the antimatter fuel rods. And then we need to make the buildings, which also take a crap ton of stuff. But we don't need that many of them, so that's fine. But we have the production of everything that we need to make our artificial suns, except for the antimatter fuel rod. So artificial suns and antimatter fuel rods or artificial stars, I guess they are. Yeah, artificial stars. We'll set up in the next one. So that we get that going. And that will solve a lot of... Um, what are they called? Uh, energy power problems, I think. How is our power here? I'm guessing it's not good. Nope, 66%. Consumption demand, 1.3 something gigawatts. So yeah, we're we're gonna have to set up some artificial stars on this planet. Which is fine. It's not a problem. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.